Webster Dictionary defines suicide as the act of killing oneself purposely. It defines the terms as being or performing a deliberate act resulting in the voluntary death of the person who does it. to do exactly what Webster Dictionary defines as suicide. But before I take my own life, I must take the lives of the others who made my life hell. How many of them are you going after? Three. I guess it's no use talking you out of this. It's best if you didn't try. What about Olivia? She thinks you're staying with me for only a few hours. Nine o'clock will roll around and then she'll start asking me when you're coming to pick her up. I guess she will have to learn the hard way. Gina, listen to yourself. Things have not been easy with you. Since your husband passed away, do not make things worse. It cannot get any worse. Yes, it can. Consider what you are doing. Things are only going to get worse. Do you want your daughter to grow up and live a tragic life like you? have it your way. If you think this is good parenting, then I have no choice but to respect your decision. Haley Burgeon. Who is Haley Burgeon? She is my boss. She's the owner of Page Auto, the auto store where I work. Why am I going after Haley? Why am I going to kill the person that writes my check? I'll tell you why. Two weeks ago, a couple of my co-workers got laid off. One of those co-workers was my neighbor, Jessie. Jessie, can we talk about this? I'm sorry, Gina, but I don't want to talk. There is nothing to talk about anymore. Jesse, you and I can agree that Haley Burgeon is a bitch. She doesn't want me to have my job anymore! You're not the only one. Gina, you have a daughter and a job. You have the power to support Olivia until she's in college. Do you know what I have? Jesse, please. I have three kids on my own. I am a single mother who has done everything in the manual to keep food on the table and clothes on their backs. Now, as of today, I can no longer provide. Is there anything that I can do to help? No thanks, Gina. 
the truth is, there is no help for me. Thank you for being my friend. Tell my kids I love them. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, tell my kids I love them? Miss Hershey, uh, I'm surprised to see you here. It's your day off. I want to see you personally. Here are the reports from last week's sales. I want to get them turned into you early. Wow, um, very well done. Yeah, nicely done. Is there anything else you need from me? Yes. Die, bitch. I know what will happen next. Someone is going to discover Haley Virgin's dead body. They will examine the body and discover the cause of the death. It will be on the news tomorrow. But I will not be here tomorrow. Well, hi there, honey. What can I get for you? I'll take a cheeseburger with fries and a Diet Coke. Okay, so it's going to be five ninety five. Or it'll be out in just a few minutes. <sighs> Dr. Howie Stewart is my next target. Howie and I were once close friends. Howie and I counted on each other. Some people believed that we were a couple. Then the time arose when Howie would stab me in the back. I took my grandfather to Howie for an annual check. Howie purposely misdiagnosed my grandfather with aortic dissection. Okay, here's your order. Thanks. My grandfather passed away later that week. The funeral was held the following week. Howie made the misdiagnosis for the sake of keeping his job. Hi, sir. What can I get for you? I'll take out coffee with extra cream. All right then, got one coffee, extra cream. Coming right up. Gina Hershey, that's your name? You know me. You know who I am. How? You work at Page Arlo. I go there once in a while. That place laid off a few people not too long ago. Were you one of them? No. It's a shame. You have a family to support, but you don't have the money to do so. That's how the world works. You only experience joy once in a while. Yet most of your life will be tragedy and bad news. Amen, sister. I, I didn't I didn't get your name. Aaron Frost. I'm a doctor. I work at Garrison Family Hospital outside the city. Interesting. Tell me, Doctor, have you ever made a misdiagnosis? Oh no, I've never made a misdiagnosis. I never will. Hell, if I was an old man, if I ever became a doctor, I'd train my hands to be the hands of God. That's very good advice to tell medical students. Excuse me. Hello, do you have an appointment? Yes, I'm here to see Dr. Stewart. Okay. Name? 
Gina Hershey. And it will be the last name that you will ever hear. Revenge. Kaylee is dead. Howie is dead. Now I have one more victim to kill. He is the one I despise the most. He is the only one that gave me more pain than the other two. He is the one responsible for my husband's death. Officer Ricardo Simmons. It's done. Today is a judgment day for me.